A system consists of five kilograms of water at a given temperature, 160 C and 1.5 bar. The system's at rest and zero elevation. In a reference environment for which the dead state temperature, T naught, 20 degrees C and pressure is one bar. Determine the exergy of the system in units of kilojoules. So all you need to do is calculate that exergy of the system, which is the mass times U minus U naught for the first term, true, plus P naught, V minus V naught for the second group of terms, true, minus T naught, S minus S naught for the third group of terms, lowercase ke, lowercase pe, close bracket, and is that the correct equation? Thumbs up if I did it right, or if you see an error, tell me now. No sense going any further. Do you agree? Thumbs up, one up, two up, three, four, five, six, seven. Has everybody had enough time to look at it? How about you give me a thumbs up? Prove to me you have a thumb. Two thumbs, I like that. <laughs> All right, we're interactive here, right? So I'm gonna keep asking you, you know. Thumbs up, you agree? Or this is the time to catch my error before I go further. So we have uh, kinetic potential or zero, and the the, goal, the challenge is, is I like to do this is start over here and say the current state, and then a dead state, and we know the two independent intensive properties that are given to fix the current state are the temperature of 160 degrees C, whoops, and pressure of 1.5 bar. And you can just memorize or make the list of all the properties you know, V, U, H, S. We don't need H currently, so we just can leave that out of our list. But we do need V, U, and S. Here's V, here's U, and here's S. We need those. Likewise, for the dead state, just come over here, T naught, 20 degrees C, P naught, one bar, and it's a challenge. The challenge is, is can I get V naught? Can I get U naught? And can I get S naught? Because I need them, U naught, V naught, and S naught. So I just have to get six properties out of the tables and stick them into the equation, watch my units, and get one answer that has units in kilojoules because the mass was given to be five kilograms, true? See that? So let's do this. Um, how about you find um, at least a specific volume for both of these? And I'll pause and I'll walk around and see how many people can get the specific volume. Just get to the properties, the specific volume of water at that temperature and pressure, as well as the specific volume of water at the dead state. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, I forgot to ask you, what is the current state? If I had to describe it, superheated, two-phase, subcooled? It's superheated, right? So it's superheated. And then it guides you into the right table, the superheated table. You find that pressure block. You look up that temperature. And you find this to be about one point. I uh, forgot it already. Where is it at? 317 meters cubed per kilogram. And what about the dead state, water, that condition? It is subcooled or compressed liquid, right? Subcooled liquid or compressed liquid. Either one is just a description. Is, it, is the pressure you know, greater than the saturation pressure? Then you say compressed liquid. Subcooled liquid, is the temperature less than the saturation temperature? Subcooled liquid. So, but it's liquid. And uh, this one, 0 0.0010018 meters cubed per kilogram. Thumbs up if you agree. How about the people I checked? I checked yours. Thumbs up. You got it? Is that the one you got? Yes. V sub F. Yeah, you want it out of the temperature table, not the pressure table, true? 
So we use the approximation that V naught is approximately V sub F at 20 degrees C. True? Got it. Very good. Thank you very much. So we stick the numbers in, and I think with the 5 kilograms, the final answer is 2710 kilojoules. You can check your work later. Ready to move on? Very good. 2710 kilojoules.